2019, stay separate, fight together. Yes, we've been hearing this word now, I think for a really long time, at least it feels like a really long time. And we are grateful to our real heroes for stepping up and actually making it a better place for us. But along with physical health, I think at this point with the circumstances, it's very important that we focus on the mental health as well, because people being cooped up in their homes are feeling kind of restricted and Today, I'm very lucky to have an expert in this field, Dr. Prerna Kodi, with me, who is actually one of the famous psychologists of our country. And she's even been felicitated by the President of India for the exceptional work that she's been doing in the field of mental health. Now, welcome, Dr. Kohli. Thank you for being with us. Namaskar. Thank you for having me over. Uh, thank you so much, Shalmi. Dr. Kohli, you are doing so much work in this field and I know you're already helping so many people. But what I request you to today share with us is the emotions that people are experiencing while they are stuck in their homes or they feel stuck actually, I believe. Um, being home is always a good thing. Please share the anxiety, the depression, the uh, stress that they're feeling and what are the mind hacks or the tricks that you can advise them to have a comfortable and a happy life. Okay. Uh, so um, at the very onset, uh, people are uh, anxious at three levels. One is about the health, about themselves and their family regarding the COVID-19. Um, and secondly, also the financial implication that's had on is going to have on people. And thirdly, uh, because there is a lifestyle change happening. Yeah. So there is a lot of anxiety. There is a lot of uh, confusion. There is uh, unpredictability. There is uncertainty. And that is why we are going through a lot of stress resulting in anxiety and depression. Um, but, you know, I'll just tell you a few techniques if we follow, at least I'm following them, uh, to remain calm, to be able to just tide over this uh, pandemic and also the lockdown at home right we're not used to something like this this is the first time in our history at least for each one of us this has happened all right uh, so some of the techniques that i'm going to uh, tell you are going to be that first thing is uh, accepting acknowledging that yes there is a lockdown and there's a pandemic and yes we have to take certain uh, you know cautious uh, decisions about social distancing, washing our hands, using our gloves, and not only uh, doing that self-care, but also helping ourselves and the others. Once we accept and acknowledge the circumstances, we're able to deal with them better. So accept and acknowledge. Otherwise, you will be feeling nervous all the time. You will be feeling overwhelmed all the time. The other thing which I am doing is is that it's very important to have a schedule, a routine for yourself and for your loved ones. And for that, I mean that it should be consistent. There should be a discipline, your waking time, your sleeping time, uh, your exercise time is very important so you don't feel all over the place. Yeah. A routine will help you being centered, will help you look forward to the next day. So, you know, a day earlier, maybe this evening, you must have a routine for yourself and you could have a routine with the family where we could divide the time, the, the tasks and uh, being together, you know, in that area. And um, I will also really request that uh, limit your consumption of media. Media is very good, whether it's social media, broadcast media, print media, please limit your consumption. If you're going to be looking at the screen all the time, uh, for news, if you're going to be uh, sending those messages all the time, there's going to be so much of overload. You're going to be panicky. And also choose carefully the media you are looking at, the media you trust. Because a lot of rumors are happening, a lot of fake news are happening. It's just increasing our anxiety because we really are uh, feeling so much out of uh, control. So um, the other one technique I would say is maintain social support. Uh, you may not be with each other physically, but you can be with each other on the various uh, social media, Facebook, uh, you know, you could be on, on Zoom, you could be on the various medias, uh, Facebook lives and all the medias which are 
uh, you know, uh, Zoom uh, and Google Hangouts, which are there. And, you know, there, when you increase your support, I see people having coffee together. I have people saying uh, people having, uh, you know, meditation classes together, exercises together. Uh, this kind of social support will not make you feel all alone in the circumstances of COVID-19 illness, where there's pandemic and we do not know how long it will last, what's going to happen next. So very important to maintain that social support. You know, you could be doing a yoga together. So anything which helps you connect with others, you know. So even if the social distance has increased, increase the, uh, decrease the, you know, uh, other distances, the emotional distances with each other. The other thing I would tell you is exercise, exercise, exercise. Yeah, yeah. You know, all the strength exercises, even if you're not going to a gym, uh, you could be, you know, picking up some weights, maybe some breaks, maybe some bands. Yoga is very, very helpful, uh, Shalini, at this time because it, it, any strength exercise makes you concentrate and focus. Anything that makes you concentrate and focus at that point of time calms you down, keeps you very mindful. All right. Um, and there are a lot of yoga exercises which could help. You could go to YouTube if you have never done. It's as simple as uh, a laughing, you know, uh, asan, you know, or you know, where people are just laughing like ha 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 ha. Right? Yeah, that's already feeling good. good. <laughs> because yes, the, because the brain is already started transmitting the serotonin. All right, it doesn't know whether it is actually doing the exercise or not doing the exercise, or whether you're watching the comedy show or you're just laughing plainly. Even humming helps. All right, the humming sound, uh, which we call the uh, you know the uh, bumblebee sound, where you're doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we would sing like uh, songs like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This also helps to drop in serotonin. These are things we already know. We just need to focus here. Yeah. And uh, you could do exercises like you could do skipping. You could do putting on music and dancing. Uh, you could be just, you know, playing a tug of war. You could be doing anything that you fancy in terms of just, you know, doing push-ups. But exercise is extremely important to make you feel good and help your movement happen because either you're lying or you're sitting or maybe just walking only that bit so exercising even in that spot would really really i really like to emphasize and one of the breathing exercise which i would like to recommend because anxiety is causing a lot of palpitation a lot of nervousness which is giving rise to sweating which is giving rise to uh, you know a uh, uh, feeling very jittery with your body so one of the breathing exercises I will uh, just do right now is, uh, which I call even um, one breath meditation. So you could just uh, just uh, breathe into the count of four, hold into the count of four, and breathe out to the count of four. But this is unusual. I would like you to put your, you know, your 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 uh, fingers on your throat. So breathing in only till your throat. So you're mindful of your breath. And breathing out, holding here for four and breathing out four. And you'll breathe out like as if you are blowing candles on your beautiful birthday cake. So, you know, I'll just demonstrate it. We call this one breath. Why we are not going all over? Just so that we are at least focused that we are taking the right breath. Okay. Amazing. The other thing um, I would like to uh, focus on, the other technique is that focus what all that you can control. What you can't control uh, is the pandemic, uh, probably the, the lockdown, your movement, your travel, your entertainment, your meeting people. But what you can control at this point in time, focus on that. Uh, you have a control on your creativity over collaboration. So you could be doing some drawing, some painting, taking out an old uh, probably instrument and playing it. Maybe you wanted to give some clothes to the NGO and you said, I never had the time. No, this is the time, you know, uh, take out the clothes, 
probably you know you wanted to learn that recipe do the cooking and if you involve if you are with the family if you involve the family it will be really a collaborative effort and it will make you all happy together we are looking uh, also of uh, very very clearly having another thing is having patience having um, adaptability and flexibility because we all are with the family or even if you are alone we can't afford to be losing our temper we can't afford to be getting irritated with each other yeah because even if one person is uh, angry uncomfortable irritated uh, it, the, the ripple effect ha happens to the rest of the family and that's why you know sort out your time your task and you know uh, your own space all right that is also very important uh, the other thing i would also tell you is uh, very very important is to externalize anxiety and stress and what we call is a uh, narrative therapy you don't say that i am feeling awful you say anxiety is making me feel awful so you say anxiety is making me feel awful okay i'm going to deal with it by doing exercise or if you say that anxiety is not letting me concentrate in in my drawing you say okay i'm now going to deal with i am going to deal with anxiety in a way that i'm going to take a break probably i'm going to going to clean the cupboard or i'm going to cook i'm going to do another activity so anxiety doesn't come in my way so you externalize it not internalize it like we are doing yeah. so then you're able to get more strength so you're able to deal with it uh, even more objectively the other thing i would like to uh, focus on is uh, that uh, you know uh, have a, a more logical uh, way of looking at life ba balance all your feelings and emotions with logic look back at the history of mankind pandemics have happened uh, and people have come out of it you know economic economy has bounced back people have stopped suffering so this illness will end economy will get better we will stop feeling the way we are we are very soon matter of time we will be stepping out i want you to also have creative visualization of seeing yourself traveling at at, at a very very early distance a very early time so it's the way you want to look at your life at this moment the other other technique i would like to emphasize is a lot of uh, uh positive affirmations you know these affirmations are very inspirational sentences which help to foster more faith uh in in the times to come and to stand up to the adversity and challenges and you could be using the mirror therapy maybe stand in the front of the mirror it affirms the uh, you know the positive sentences even more because it seems that you're talking to somebody and it's coming right back to you all right so you could be saying things like um, i am healthy my family is healthy i am calm uh, i am divinely protected all right or um, every something good is going to come out of this everything is well in my world i hope this helps all of you uh, to manage your stress anxiety and depression better god bless each one of you and let's all gather our mental and emotional strength and we shall overcome this thank you very much thank you shalini dr prerna that was absolutely super amazing and your tips um, if people actually apply them to their life they are going to see a difference and they are going to feel happier for sure my little two bit you know, if you wake up in the morning and you get up and shower and get dressed that's the way to start the day because if you don't do that and you say oh we don't have to go anywhere so how does it matter that you not shower now i can do it later you're already starting on a back foot and you don't want to do that so do it like you would when you were going out right and that's how you should start your day and then follow all the tips that dr prerna has given us which is amazing singing like she said is like something i do all the time so do that help is what we heard our parents saying it and today we understand the intensity of that because no amount of wealth can change the circumstances but your attitude and your perspective can do that and it is absolutely normal to experience these emotions of of anxiety and stress during covid-19 times thank you again dr prerna this is shalini says signing off keep watching this space thank you thank you